Hi everyone, today we're back and we're going to be testing out some, uh, let's get this in close, deco art pouring medium. We're going to be trying that out today. And I've just got a small 10x10 canvas, I think it is. And I've got seven colors picked out that we still have to mix up. So, I know I'm a little late to the trend here, but this has been the trendy thing for paint pouring. So we're going to see how this turns out. And off the bat, I can smell it. It's kind of got a, I don't want to say a strong smell, but it does have a smell to it that's not the most pleasant. But, I can deal with that because most pouring mediums, I feel like, probably have some sort of odor. Okay, hold on, gotta get a popsicle stick because it is running down the bottle. And colors I have picked out, which are also by DecoArt, they're the Americana paints. It's supposed to be a one-to-one -one ratio. And I think I have, I'll show you the colors in a minute when we start mixing up. I'm not going to be mixing up a lot because it's a small canvas so we shouldn't need a whole lot. So I'll just put the popsicle sticks in here. And I'll show you the colors. Oh dear. Well, I guess I should hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I missed one popsicle stick. And I don't want to have to reach behind the camera over here. So I'm just going to use one of these washed off ones. I did wash it off. This was for uh, mixing up the paint for the dots and stuff. So we're going to start off with a Deco Art Metallic. This is Warm Penny. Get you in closer, see if it'll focus. There it goes. Okay, so we're going to put roughly a 50-50 in here. Alright, I'm going to say that's pretty close. Then we're going to mix this together. Absorbs the color beautifully. Perfect consistency. I mean, it really is. So, looking good so far. Absorbs the metallics very well. Next we have cadmium orange. This is kind of like a burnt sienna color. Let me get you in closer. Alright. And you now we're just going to put... Oop. Alright, apparently I've used that one for something else. I don't remember what I used for... Use this in. I'll just mix this one up too. Wonderful color. Perfect consistency, runs off the stick just fine here. And next up is, we'll do the red one. This is True Red. Let's see if it'll focus, there it is. This is just a bright red. Man, I must have used these colors for something else. <laughs> I don't remember using that much of them. Pick this up and stir it up. And one thing that I've noticed about this is it mixes in very easy because they're they're not like um, golden fluid acrylics, but they're definitely more fluid than the other stuff. The other tubes like the Artist Fine Touch, the Artist Loft and all that stuff. Which I'm sure they sell um, more fluid versions of their paint, but I haven't seen them. so. Okay, next up is Desert Turquoise. That's the top. I guess I should show you the top, but you guys will see the color in it, and we'll do this one in here because this is a pretty similar color to that. what's on the stick. Okay. There we go. Mix this together. And I will be putting silicone in the paint. Um, the normal Hask Argan Hair Oil. Because... Um... The uh, video where I saw the person do one with and without silicone, there were some kind of like lacy cells, but not really too much of anything special. And I only have uh, one small canvas on hand right now. 
So I want to make the most of it. And I want to make something pretty, so I'm going to put silicone in. But I probably will do um, a test without silicone once I make it back to Michael's or Hobby Lobby or wherever. That was Snow White. I'm sorry, I forgot to show you the color. I'll show you just as soon as I'm done mixing this. Um, I know I've been absent for a while. I've probably like week, week and a half. I haven't posted anything. And that has been because I've been working pretty hard on a new project. Oh, I said I'd show you this. I think this is Snow White. There you go. Here's the cap. Yeah, this is Snow Titanium White. Next one is Teal Mint. But if you're from my Instagram, you will know I have been doing a lot of posting of a jellyfish piece that I've been working on. Yes, I did say jellyfish. Um, it was kind of a mixed media piece. I textured the background with, I think it was a Liquitex Basics. Um, I think this one needs a little bit more paint. Um, Liquitex Basics modeling paste. I textured the background with that. This was also on a cradled wood panel. I forgot to mention that. And um, I, after I did that, I painted the background all up and I added on or I used air dry um, sculpting clay to make a 3D jellyfish. Then I painted that all up and painted the jellyfish. I think I just said that, but I don't remember. <laughs> and I tried to use, um, actually I tried to use these, uh, actually these aren't deco art, but I tried to use these glow craft paints, but you have to have them applied pretty heavily for it to glow. So unfortunately my jellyfish didn't glow like it was supposed to, but that's okay. It still looks really good and I did a resin finish on it. And, um, yeah, it turned out awesome. I love it. But that's what I've been doing for the past few days, and I didn't want to make a video on it because it would have been the longest video you've ever seen. I spent, um, two whole days on it. Two whole days, as in, like, the 12 hours that I was awake. I'm not even sure if I've been awake for, or if I stay awake for 12 hours. <laughs> okay, so... Back on topic, here's the uh, Hask Argan Hair Oil. Let me see if I can get this in close. And I think it's focused. And I um, kind of was uh, a silly goose and left the lid off. We're just going to do one drop in each of these. Oop, that one accidentally got two, but that's okay. And I left the cap off and I accidentally dropped, knocked over the the bottle, so I kind of spilled the half of it on the table and all over the floor, and that was a mess because it's oil and it doesn't clean up very easily. So um, I will be ordering 100% dimethicone off of Etsy. Oh, I did have an extra stick. Oh, oh well. Um, I will be ordering 100% dimethicone off of Etsy so I can. Um, try out 100% dimethicone, and it, it sh in my opinion, it should be better because it's 100%, there's nothing else in there, but you never know, sometimes things work out differently than you anticipate them, so we'll see how that comes out, and I should be ordering that within the next few days, probably, and, um, yes, yeah, so let's get pouring have a nice, somewhat big canvas here. It's fairly small. Brush that stuff off there. I don't know what that was. Okay, wait. Let me make sure this is completely in view. Okay. Now, we're going to take a slightly bigger cup, and we're going to layer our colors. I want to start off with white, because I want to see the kind of lacing that will come up underneath the white, because the white will be the thing that's on top, because it's on the bottom of your cup. We're going to do a flip cup, so when you flip it, the white's going to be on top, and I want to see what comes through that white. So next, I'm thinking we're going to do this, I think this was teal mint. 
one of my favorite colors. Okay. It's not going to drip again. And now I'm going to do the copper because I love this copper. And we'll see if this takes over because some coppers will just totally, totally take over your painting. Even though you only put a little bit in. Oh, I can already see it starting to sell up in there a little bit on that copper. We'll do a little bit up high, why not? The next color we'll do... Actually, we'll finish it off with white up high. So we don't... Um, mix certain colors to get kind of other colors that weren't intended for. That was the desert turquoise. Actually, no, we're going to do white right here. Okay, almost out of the white. And this should be plenty and plenty of paint. Now we're going to do this red. Alright, we'll see what that mixed up. Maybe we'll get some purple in there or something. Now this kind of burnt sienna orange. Okay. And now we're going to finish it off with a few blues and a little bit more copper. And we'll do a little bit more of the dark blue. And a little bit more of this copper. And I will be doing one uh, little swipe, at least one little swipe, on the photo paper, like normal, to see how well the paint sells up with swiping. Okay, flipped it. And now we're going to... Let me make sure this is in camera view, okay. And now we're just gonna push up and pull it off. And leave the cup here for a second. I don't want the paint to run off, so I'm gonna hold it up just a little bit. And I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. This is very pretty. This almost reminds me of the glue, the glue wall that I tried. Okay, now I'm just gonna tilt this a little bit this way. And then we'll torch. I'm going to refill my torch real quick because it seems to be having problems lately. Okay. And we're just going to... Okay, okay. Got some cells coming up here. Got some air bubbles popping. Definitely see some selling happening, which is good. Always like the cells. Those are probably my favorite part. Not going to lie. All right. Now let's tilt this around. They're not very big, I will say that. But, okay, we'll do here. I'm not really liking this corner very much. We're going to go like that. Run that off. Ooh, I am, I am liking this, though. Okay. We'll just run that, and that will come down this way. I'm sorry, you can't. I'll try and keep this a uh, little bit more in view for you. And the cells in this are pretty good. They stretched out very well. They are not um, deforming too much, if you know what I mean. They're not like, they're keeping their shape until now because I, of course, said something and then it had to change once I, once I said it. So let me just make sure, oh my, oh, I did it again. I brought gloves out and I forgot to put them on. Okay, now we're just going to Make sure all the corners are covered. Okay, I'm gonna pause. I'm gonna try not to get my head in the way here. Okay. All right, I'm gonna tilt this just a little bit this way to get that corner. Kind of okay. Now I want to move it back just a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to torch again. And I have to wash my hands off because silly me forgot to put on the gloves again.
Okay, now I'll put the gloves on this time. Now that we're done tilting and everything. Um, let's see if I can put the glove on the right way. And I have a new uh, project that I've been looking into. I'm not going to spoil anything because I kind of am keeping it on the down low so far. But if, if I can get it together and make this project, I think it'll be a very cool one. Okay, this torch is having some issues over here. I fill it up with butane, and it runs out of butane as soon as I do. So, that's, there we go, there's a little bit of a bigger flame. And we'll just kind of come over and see where the silicone's at, bring it up to the surface with the heat. I, I really like this red, white, and blue corner over here. And you can see how quickly my torch is running out of butane here, which is very odd because this torch is probably three, four months old, maybe. Put a little bit more butane in. Maybe I'll have to order a new one. I don't know. I'm trying to get some more stuff in the middle here. Because it's not super, like... How do I put this? It's not, like... It doesn't have something to catch your eye and draw it in. Alright, doesn't look like anything else is going to come up. So i tell you what we're going to do here. I do like how there's kind of a swoopy motion here. But I'm going to use these um, airbrush needles. They're pretty fine tooth. Let me see. There we go. They're just little tiny like needle tip rods, I guess. And I'm going to choose the thicker out of the three. The one with the biggest tip. And maybe we'll do some like lines running through here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do like a... Okay. Hold on, I just had a thought. Because I was down here doing this, and I smelled that porn medium again. And it smells like um, a product by Golden. Why can't I remember what the name of the product was? I think it was... Um, what was the name of that product? I... I feel like there was some golden product that I used one time that smelled just like this. And I can't remember what it was called for the life of me, but that's okay. I guess it's not important then. And we'll do one more on this side that goes kind of like that. And maybe we'll do, hmm, hmm, I'm not liking this so far. I like the pouring medium and the paint, but I'm not liking the painting itself. So, let's think, what can I do to this? I don't want to swipe it, because then I, I just don't want to, but swipes don't usually turn out too good for me, so let's try tilting this again. See if it will even move. Alright, we're going to have to tilt this pretty high up. I know you guys can't, while you're sitting at the back of the canvas, but it has to be done. Okay, we're going to come back down this way. I'm going to hold it from this corner and I'm trying to turn it around so you guys can at least see something. I'm trying to pour off this corner down here. 
and when it starts to drip, I'm going to turn around and look at it. Okay, there it is. Let's see. It's not bad, it's just not what I am, I don't want to say looking for, but not what I am into right now. I'm not digging this so far. But I feel like it needs something right across the middle. So we're going to do a ribbon. Actually, let me put some more of that. Some more white. A little bit more copper, because that copper almost disappeared, which is kind of odd, because copper normally is the one to take over a painting, not the one to disappear in it. And all that red is pretty much gone too. So we'll do some more of that. And we'll do a little bit of dark blue. Okay, and I'm just gonna give the cup a little swirly, I guess. I don't know what else to call it, a little swirl. And we're just gonna start pouring it off and run over. We're just going to do a few ribbons until we run out of paint, because why not? And now I'm going to tilt this around. There we go, much better. I'm liking this better so far. It's got a little bit of chaoticness, something to make you look around and say, oh, What's this? Alright, now let's torch again. And hopefully I don't drip anything on the paintings. Almost no cells coming up. Okay, so I like the ribbon, the glue, and uh, so I'm going to take my palette knife here, and I'm going to scrape the sides of the cup, kind of a horrible noise, and now we've got some paint down here, and we're going to do one more pass over, but we're going to go this way. Alright, don't have enough to do one more, so now we'll tilt this around again. And I'm sorry again for the having to turn away from you guys. Okay, tilt down. And we're gonna tilt back this way. And I think that's as good as it's gonna get. So, let's torch this and see what comes up. My flame is pretty small Get again, so we're just going to have this over here. And of course I have to refill the torch again because there's something wrong, I think. My sister did drop it a few months ago, and I feel like it hasn't quite been right since. So, let's just do one quick pass over to get any bubbles and pull up any remaining silicone. I'll just do a little bit of a cookie over here. And then that's it. And now I'm going to move some of these cups out of the way so I can slide the painting over. And then I'm going to um, do a little swipe on photo paper. Well, let's see here. Let me move this and this 
And we're going to move these out of the way. And move this one. And I'm just going to move this up here. So it's mainly out of the way. We have a little bit of working space right here. Okay, let me grab my photo paper. And first, I'm just going to... Scoop what's on the table, move it around, see what happens. Alright, so let's start, actually let's... Oh dear, my foil just ripped. I ripped my foil! <laughs> okay. Trying to just use up all the color that's on the table here. Because it muddied up quite a bit. And it's not a very pretty muddy color. Because sometimes they actually, the colors mix to be something that's not expected and is really pretty. But that is definitely not this time. Wrong color show. Alright, now I'm going to move this around. Cause there's quite a bit of paint on here. Kind of got some cool like motion happening. I'm not. There we go. Okay, you guys can see that. And we'll see. Oh, I said I was gonna do a swipe. That is definitely not a swipe, but I will do a swipe for you because I did say I was going to do one. Maybe just fill in that little hole. Okay. And I'm bring this up close, which is kind of risky because it's right over the thing, so you can see what's happening. And you, as you can see, there's not really much sewing happening, actually. Okay. And... I mean, some cool, like, swirls and stuff, but not really too many pretty cells. So, we'll set this down. And... We'll do one more. And we'll use clean colors this time. And what I mean by that is just using colors straight out of the cup. So that way we're not giving deco art a bad rap by using leftover paint and saying it's not good because that is definitely not what I'm saying. I do like this. It is very easy to use. It doesn't have too strong of an odor like some pouring mediums. It is, I mean, it, it's, it took me like five minutes to mix up the colors. So definitely not long at all. And we'll do a little bit of this teal and the dark blue. And then we'll put some white down and swipe it. Okay. And we'll put some white right here on this side. wipe the palette knife off on my gloves and let me see if I can pick this up off the table okay and I'm going to bring this over for you and we're just gonna and eh, we'll do one more little swipe right there and wipe it off. Oop, oop, almost find that on the painting. Alright, now time to torch it. And I can see some cells coming up. Hopefully I'm keeping this in view for you. I'm having trouble with the torch over here. Okay, there it is. And some little stuff coming up. Not too much of anything that I think is worth keeping for jewelry. I mean, there's some little stuff. I'm not sure if you can see here, and here, and here. But in a whole, this swipe is not, like, impressing me a whole lot. So now we're going to stretch this out. Hopefully you guys can still see this. I have a problem. <laughs> I keep moving out of frame. And these cells that I liked over here in the white with the copper, 
are kind of deforming because there's not a lot of paint right next to it. So I'm just going to touch that right there. Okay. And now I'm going to tilt it again. And actually, this stretched out really well. Oh, there it is. Right here, that stretched out really pretty. Um, I'm going to try torching it one more time. And then we'll call it a video. And my flame is out of butane again. We'll just use what's left in there, I guess. Which is pretty much nothing. Alrighty. Well, this turned out pretty good. Um, it definitely worked as a pouring medium, I can say that. And I will be doing more experiments with it because I got a 16 ounce thing, so I'll probably do um, a push and a pull next time with it or a tree ring or something like that. And then, um, we'll see how those turn out. I will take you down for a close-up real quick because I always forget to do that. But I need to because that's kind of important to see what the finished painting looks like. Throw my gloves somewhere. Um, oh, here, right there. Perfect. Okay, let's take you guys down. I'll flip the camera lens over here before I do. Here we go. So this is my view of the painting, and, you know, it's pretty cool. It's, um, not my favorite. It didn't quite sell up like I was hoping it would. Got some cool stuff over here. Right there, too. Um, it definitely didn't sell up, like, anything crazy, even though I did put, um, silicone in there. Kind of a chaotic painting with these ribbons running through here. Um, then here's the swipe. That's my favorite part right there. And here's the little leftover paint from the table. Got some cool cells right there. And so, now I'll put you back on the camera stand and I will finish this video up. So, um, I'll be doing more stuff in the future. I might even film a little short thing on my jellyfish that I've done. And I guess all that's left is to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, subscribe, like, comment if you want to. I don't. Uh, I would greatly appreciate it if you did subscribe and like the video and all that jazz. So. Um, thank you for watching. I know I just said that, but I'll say it again because I really do appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.